we're just going to be talking about um, the tests themselves and how to interpret them. So with that, I'll go ahead and move on to the introduction. So I think one of the reasons why I get so many questions about hypothyroidism is because it is the most common canine endocrine disease. Um, a healthy dose of skepticism should always accompany interpretation of thyroid function testing. You know, I always say that clinicians make um, diagnoses, not um, laboratories, and that's especially true when we're dealing with thyroid. Um, probably one of the most common questions that I get is uh, geriatric screening with a mildly low thyroid, perfectly healthy dog, and the clinician wants to know if this dog is hypothyroid. And again, we have to um, work through the whole case. We can't just simply look at a single number and say yes or no whether that patient is. Um, but always be skeptical when you look at a, a thyroid test. Um, there is a lot of controversy and confusion regarding the sensitivity and specificity. There have been some publications they contradict themselves. Um, and, you know, the really, I think the big issue is we don't have a gold standard. Um, we don't biopsy these um, thyroids to say yes or no, They the dog is hypothyroid. We rely on our clinical acumen and the results of tests. 